Ugo Manduka here. And today I'm going to show you how to pose perfectly in a photo every time. Every time. Because the one thing that can really make or break the way you feel about how you look in your photo is your pose. And most of us are not good at posing ourselves which makes for awkward photographs that we wish never existed. But the good news is, we can all learn to pose ourselves in ways that we actually find desirable. I sucked at posing. I still kind of do. I can't just pose and give you magic. I have to work my way through it, step by step. And I'm gonna show you how I do that right now. I really want this video to be under seven minutes, so let's go. I'm gonna show you four or five poses and show you how I work through them. Here we go. So, first things first, I just want to tell you I'm shooting a vertical video because I was shooting for Instagram, I needed a vertical, sorry for the vertical format. Okay, now, key to perfecting a pose every time. Look at yourself. So, I'm looking at myself through my phone, it's connected to my camera, so I'm controlling my, phone, my camera through my phone. When you do this, you can notice little things like a distracting light plugged into the wall that you can take out instead of having to edit out in post. And then you're able to break down your entire pose, look at yourself, like I realized after putting my foot on the wall, I would like my anklet to show. So I pulled up my pant leg to show it. And now I'm deciding where do I want my arms, low, high, you can really, really take your time and figure out how ex exactly how to pose your body. And then here I noticed if I point my toe, it looks so much more delicate. So I pointed my toe and now figuring out how to place my shoulders, my back, should I curve it, should I not, do I look up, down, and lastly, face, figure out what type of face to make and look at yourself as you make that face. I'm telling you, seeing yourself is key so you can get a photo like this one. On to the next one. So this one is actually a pose I already did on TikTok, um, but I'm just reenacting how I figured out the pose. Now, actually a pro tip, I'm holding my phone as close to the position that my hands will be in the actual shot. Here, I'm holding my phone super close to my face so I can figure out where to put my right hand. It's super close to my face because that left hand that's holding the phone is gonna be up on my forehead. So I really wanna see how my body will look in the shot, which is why I don't wanna hold the phone like super low or holding it, looking at it in my lap. I need to see as close to how my body will look, which is why I'm awkwardly holding it like that in front of my face. Okay, then I realized, you know what? I think it'll look better with a coat draped over the chair. So I put on a trench coat and back to figuring out the little things. My foot wanted it pointed, again with the anklet. Hike it up so we could show it. Actually on both legs this time. Hike that up real quick. And the trench coat, adjust that. And here is the photo. I actually changed it slightly. Decided to cross my legs, okay? But here's the original pose. On to the next one. Sometimes when you're shooting at home, you gotta move furniture around, okay? Now, you'll see here, because of the pose I'm trying to do, I can't hold my phone, I gotta be hands-free. So sometimes you have to put the phone in an awkward position so you can really see what the pose looks like. Now, this is the actual pose I was going for, but you know, the big hair kind of adds a lot, and right now my hair's not big. So I changed the pose up, the normal tweaks here, and here's the final photo. Last but certainly not least, you'll see we have a photo that I would usually take down as well as the water jig in the back. Not ideal and those small photos, not ideal. But you know, this was just for demonstrative purposes so I left them. Okay, so here I was just restyling the other photos. I had done all these poses before. Now for this photo, I knew that I wanted to cross my legs and the nice thing about looking at yourself on your phone to take photos is that well, it's a good and bad thing. You're basically, everything's on you. So you're the stylist as well. You have to notice the small things. You have to notice when a necklace is crooked, when your pants are flaring weird like they are now. So I was really busy trying to fix that. Okay, and then I knew that I wanted to sit cross-legged and I've noticed this before with posing. Sometimes that po cross-legged pose can look kind of awkward. So straightening out your leg just a little bit can make it look a lot more natural. It feels less natural, but it can look 
more aesthetic. And you'll see that in my final shot. It doesn't always have to be this straight, but it looks nice. And here are some other shots. All right, that pretty much wraps it up for today. It's a wrap, I called it. <laughs> Okay, no. Um, so what was your favorite pose? One, two, three, or four? Uh, let me know down below, comment if you like. If not, it's fine. Um, <laughs> I'll see you in my next video, posing video, hopefully, or vlog, I'm not sure what's next. Anyway, hasta la vista, mis amigos. <laughs>